So issues with division in Key Stage 1. Basically, it's quite common for teachers to say, and for me also as a Key Stage 1 teacher, to feel that the children are fine when you're doing a multiplication, but you start doing division and it's whoosh, everything's going pear-shaped. Just not so good. Even the children who are quite confident with a multiplication can be completely thrown as soon as you drop a division sign into the, into the situation. And I think that it pays us to rewind on this and to think about how they are conceptualising division. Because there are various um, misconceptions which get in the way here. The main one is that children may be still thinking of division as sharing, which is, of course, an error. We know that division has nothing to do with sharing. Division is the inverse of multiplication. Multiplication and division are one operation inverse. Sharing is about fractions. I do one for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. Another one for you, another one for you, another one for you, another one for you. And what I'm doing is finding a quarter. That is sharing. So. In multiplication, we all start by clever counting. So we do 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And what we're doing is showing children that you can count in steps other than steps of one. So we can do counting, but now we can do clever counting. 5, 10, 15, 20. We can do clever counting in twos. 2, 4, 6, 8. Four twos are eight. Children get into the mode of clever counting and usually get very good at it, in my experience, and enjoy it because it's all success and it's, it's, it's good. And once they get really good at clever counting, we can extend that to arrays. So we can have four lots of five cubes. Five cubes, 10 cubes, 15 cubes, 20 cubes. And we can pile them up to make an, arra an array. And we do that with twos and with tens and with threes. So they're really getting the hang of four lots of five. And we're, they're associating that with their clever counting, five, 10, 15, 20. And once that's all locked in place and it's robust, then we can build in division. Because all division is, is posing the question in a different way. Instead of saying, what are four lots of five? I say, how many fives do I need to get to 30? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I need six lots of five. So I'm just putting the question mark in a different place. How many fives give me 20? How many fives give me 30? So children start to see that we can think of division as just another way of answering, answering a question which is about multiplication. It's win-win.